Hey guys, today is Sunday and we are going to do a fish fry. I have prepared my fish. I took tilapia. I cleaned them, so I made sure that the gills are cleaned out. I cut slits and then I seasoned them. For the seasoning, I just used black pepper, garlic, and seasoned salt. I'm going to be cooking these outside, so let's go on outside and take a look. So here we are outside. We have our outdoor burner and our disco. We're going to put our oil. And let that warm up. Okay, now our oil is hot, and the next thing we are going to do is prepare our oil by making some chips. I've cut tortillas into triangles. We're just going to place them in the oil and allow them to fry. It is important that when you place your tortillas into the oil that you do separate them. Otherwise, they are going to stick together when they cook. They cook very fast because your oil is very hot. So you just want to move them around a little bit. As you can see, now our chips are done. We will cover those and set them aside to eat in a little bit. Now, we are going to put our fish to cook. In order to put our fish in the oil, we need to make sure that our oil is very hot. And along with our fish, we are gonna cook one whole onion. I peeled it and I cut it into four, not all the way through, just through the top. needs to be really really hot otherwise your fish will stick to the bottom so we're going to set our fish in now we are not going to touch our fish until it's time to flip them over, because if you do, they're going to stick. So you can see that the fish are cooking. We still have not flipped them over. Our oil is very hot. You can do this on your stove, but we prefer to do this outside. On the stove, you can probably only cook one fish at a time, and it's gonna make your house smell like fish. This way we're outside. These are tilapia fish. You can find them at your local Mexican grocery store or if you have like a grocery store with Oriental that tailors the Oriental food market, you could find that as well. Um, when I lived in California, I used to buy them in Sacramento on, off of Stockton Boulevard. Over here, we just buy them at the local uh, Mexican grocery store. You might hear my roosters in the background. We are really outside. We, for those of you who don't know, we actually live on a farm. That's a little fountain that I was building. We have a hay farm. Just thought I would show everyone what it looks like here. Husband's got the trucks loaded for tomorrow's hay deliveries. The sunflowers grow naturally here, which is really cool. Okay, so they have been cooking for a little bit, and now it is safe to lift and check them. So let's do that. We're not flipping. We're not really scooting. We're just lifting and checking. So it was... Just about ready to go, it looks like, so we're going to go ahead and flip it over. 
Let's check this one. Not quite ready. So you can see out of the three that are cooking right now, only one was ready to flip over. You'll know it's ready when you can see that it's a little bit crispy. You don't want to try to flip it when it's not crispy. And the other thing you want to do is grab it from this side. So when you're flipping, you're going to grab it like this. Don't try to grab it from the side like I did the first time because it'll just fall apart. So you're going to grab from the head, reach, and flip. Continuing to cook. You see our onion is going to be yummy too. It just adds a nice flavor to your fish. And then what we do when they're ready is we take them out and we set them on the edge to let the oil come off and then we'll just put them in a covered container until we're done. So we cooked our first three fish. We have a couple more to go. So I'm just gonna put another onion. We have a little bit of a breeze so we're struggling a little bit with the flame. It's getting there. And we'll put our other two fish. And so you can see the fish that are complete. What we did is we set them semi upright so that any more oil can drain off. We've got our cooked onion and our chips. And now we'll wait for our other two to cook and make a quick salsa. So the simple salsa I like to serve with my fish is simply the juice from limes, cilantro, a piece of garlic, some peppers and salt blended. This is what it looks like when it's blended.